Hello YouTube, welcome back to the channel. So I've been getting a lot of uh, requests for my backup lights and uh, how it works with the grid lines. Also, um, how well does it light up the area to the back of your truck? Now I, I posted a video um, basically showing how it looked on the backup camera. And so we're going to kind of look at that again, but this time it's at, it's at night, which the first video was as well. Um, we're going to uh, compare uh, uh, with and without the, the lights, and then um, and we'll see how it looks from there. So for those of you guys that are wondering what, what, what the grid lines look like, I uh, hope this helps you out a little bit. <clears throat> uh, to me, for me, in person, it doesn't... Uh, uh, mess up on me too bad. So I'm in a really dark parking lot. Uh, not really giving it justice. I'll turn my headlights off here. Uh, it's it's pretty dark. So uh, there's a little bit of uh, lights off the building there. And there's some lights off to the right. But for the most part, very dark. So I'll flip my headlights back on. Uh, and then, uh, so I'll go ahead and put it in reverse. Uh, and it looks very bright back there. Um and uh and that's just with the reverse lights <clears throat> as you can see the grid lines are all there and i'll go ahead and back to this spot here i'll try to get it between the white lines there and just barely see them I'll take my foot off the brakes you guys and see what it looks like without the brake lights brake lights help light up the area there's your grid lines there's the bushes that i just backed up against so uh like i said it doesn't mess up there and that's what it looks like at night uh, again, I mean, the picture uh, in the video looks like it's very um, lit up like it's daylight, but it, it's actually not. Uh, matter of fact, I'll point you into the uh, river mirror here and roll my window down. Uh, take off the, as you can just barely see the light, the white lines. So uh, this area is still kind of bright. I'm not in an extremely dark area as I live kind of an urban area, but it's very bright. I mean, there's, you know, that's what I was backing into with my brake lights on. Now, <clears throat> to uh, put the uh, cubes on, the reverse cubes that I have. So I flip them on. I'll put the truck in reverse. And it looks like it messes up the grid lines. But if you, again, it, the, the camera doesn't give it justice. My eyes can perfectly see them. So that's with them on. That's with it off can't really tell on even the uh, center line to, to hook up a trailer is not affected by those cubes again if you, you set your camera back it looks like it is but you know this is what it looks like to my naked eye so I can see everything perfectly so now with the reverse lights on I can totally see everything to the rear of my truck it, it gives it a nice uh, uh, throw out <clears throat> And uh, there's the grid line still. Uh, looks like it works pretty good. You can get to the red there. So the red line comes up perfectly. Uh, so <clears throat> the, uh, the, the reverse lights, as some of you guys have been asking about, uh, does not mess up those grid lines. Um, and then I'll show you guys uh, what it looks like now with the window rolled down with the camera see much difference so i'll turn them off boom you really can't see anything it's it's very dark back there but then you turn it on it lights up the whole area nicely and i'll jump out real quick and show you guys uh the uh setup once more so hang tight so again with the uh cube is on it lights up the whole rear of the truck very nicely and then uh, if you kind of look here, uh, somebody was asking how the lights affect the backup camera. Uh, the way I've got them situated, they're uh, just behind the bumper. So if you are standing pretty much in line with the bumper, you really can't see them. It does look like there's a little bit of a dead spot, but again, there's enough light cast. You can kind of see um, the line right here. I'll point to it. You can kind of see the light line right here. So it does light up your ball very nicely as well. So I don't have any issues there. <clears throat> and then the, um, somebody was asking about the width, uh, why I had them set pretty far apart. 
Um, that is because of there's uh, indentions underneath the bumper. I did not have to gr uh, drill into the chrome portion of my bumper. Uh, that bumper had two indentions, and then I just drilled into, there was a steel plate uh, that I believe that this chrome bumper hangs on, and that is the only part that I drilled into. I did not drill into um, the chrome part. Um, and then somebody else was asking um, why I didn't go with the cubes inserted into the um, bumper itself. Well, mainly uh, I did that because, um, as with any lights, there's no guarantees they can last. With that hole that I drilled in this bumper, I can easily find another um, cube to, to fit that bolt and uh, take that off, take these off, and put that one back on, or put another one on. With the ones drilled out into the actual physical bumper, the minute you um, it's broken or you need to replace and that model's no longer produced, now you're messed up now you have a hole and i've seen that on, on several trucks where they put a different size uh, led cube into the existing hole and you can see all the gaps and it just doesn't look good it starts getting rusted so that's the reason i went with these instead of the ones mounted usually uh right here in the in the chrome so <clears throat> i hope that helps you out a little bit more uh these lights were uh, gifted to me from uh, either birthday or christmas from tractor supply uh, these are the traveler brand this is not the fancy recons they aren't expensive led pods um, these are simply like i said i think they're right around 40 bucks they're not uh, made anymore again remember i was just saying companies stop making a certain brand uh, so uh, these aren't made anymore there's a different kind now that i believe has like led amber lights that are off to the sides almost like a marker light uh, they look pretty cool but uh, uh i didn't go with those or don't have those those are the new style um so uh, but for being cheap uh or to me cheap lights and not the name brands you guys are associated with uh they work exceptionally well uh, they don't get dirty somebody else was asking uh where these are located from dirt mud these don't get dirty at all uh, occasionally they might get a film on it from dust usually dust will collect on it uh, I did not seal these lights uh, it's gonna be kind of hard to see um, because they are so bright but as you can see those lines are very clean there's no moisture inside of them same thing over here we'll get it close no moisture uh, these lights have, were sealed perfectly for me I just maybe I got a lucky um but uh, i don't have that problem i've never touched them i've installed these once they don't get loose they haven't loosened up on me at all uh, of course i've got you know nylocks on the washer or nylocks on the bolt and locking washers so i made sure with the vibration they don't move so i hope that helps you guys out a little bit better on your installation and uh like subscribe and we'll catch you on the next one